Kaiser Chiefs have suffered a huge blow to Ed Milson Dover because in Turkey he got injured. And we know that this thing tends to happen with Dover, he's injury prone. But this might not necessarily be a bad thing. And I will tell you why I think that's the case. We're also going to talk about Kevin Johnson throwing subliminal shots at Kaiser Chiefs and essentially blaming the club for what ended up happening to him. Also going to talk about Katle Hompela and who he suggests Kaiser Chiefs should buy. Hello and welcome to Cosination Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo, I am your host and this, this is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. Amakusi Football Club. Let's start with Edmilson Tove. Edmilson Tove got injured. They've not told us whether it's a knee injury, it's a shoulder injury. We just know that he is injured, which is unfortunate because... We know that Tutova can play as a left center, as a left footed center back, as a center back, can play as a left back as well because right now we only have Ubong and Isam. And I have told you guys that I have my own doubts. Like, I'm not saying he's going to be bad, but I don't think he goes in and becomes a starter for Chiefs given his injury history as well. So we have a problem on that side. However, this might present a huge opportunity for Kaiser Chiefs because now we know that they've been linked with Urashun Totli where Cape Town spares, uh, which means at this point, knowing that Totli can play as a left back, but he can also play as a center back, this might just be a push that's making Chiefs realize that actually long term Utove is not going to be good for us in any case because he gets injured and he's old. Yes, he's going to come back and he's going to fight for the club, but we don't know the extent of his injury. We know that he's been getting injured since he's injured, since his days at Cape Town City, and now it's happening again at Kaiser Chiefs. So I hope that this makes them go and buy a player now, either Udodli, because that's a cheaper option, younger and has potential, or they could just go and buy Pasatin. We saw that earlier on today, Stellan Bosch confirmed that they've signed Omega Mtaga, who is a youth development product of Kaiser Chiefs. And they would have had to pay 1.5 million to Kaiser Chiefs, which is 1.5 million more than they had <laughs> beginning of the week, which means they can add that money into buying Ufawa's Pasatin. And I know Stellan Bosch report said that he's not for sale, but everyone has a price. We all know that. So I'm hoping that this just pushes Chiefs to do this even more. Now, let's talk about the next thing, which, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? Subscribe. <laughs> it's, it's not the word I was looking for, but please do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Okay, this is the thing that I, 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 I saw. Ooh, ooh, Kevin Johnson had a, an interview on the OTW podcast. And he says uh, some things that I find absolutely ridiculous. Like the fact that coaching Kaiser Chiefs tainted his name. And he says that he needs to find another job so that basically can redeem himself because his name was tainted and by coaching Kaiser Chiefs. Okay, I'm like, unless Kaiser Chiefs, who Bobby said then was like, listen, Kevin. And then Uchunia and I was like, yes, Kevin, listen to us. Bobby, you are going to do this job or... We fire you. Unless he was forced to coach Kaiser Chiefs, he cannot come in here and say coaching Chiefs tainted his image because he knew very well what he was getting himself into. He knew. He had seen the past eight years before him, coach after coach failing to do things. And yeah, now having, having not coached or won a cup in the past 10 years with any club, he thought, huh, I will come in and I will do it. He knew very well. He knew. And here's the thing. It's one thing, it's one thing to, 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 to not like, achieve or win titles with Kaiser Chiefs at its current state. But it's another thing to attain the worst ever finish in the PSL era. Finishing 10th. Losing to teams coached by gynecologists. People who know more about vaginas than football prove to know more about football than Johnson because he failed to coach Kaiser Chiefs against a team that is coached by a freaking gynecologist. And you're going to come out here and tell me that your name was tainted. You are telling me that you are failing to beat a team coached by a gynecologist. A vagina doctor does a better job than you in coaching football. 
It's like you going to a gynecologist and saying, no, doctor, that's actually not Aibo. The man who deals with vaginas the whole day knew more about coaching football than the person who deals with football the whole day. You lose to that guy. You fail to dominate the game. You play nonsense. And you're going to come here and tell me that that's what tainted you, the, the, the coaching the club is what tainted your name. No, no, no. It's the cluelessness. It's the, it's the poor selection. It's, 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 it's not even having plan A. Forget plan B. There was never a plan A. Picking a player who has not played for three months and then he performs and then the next game you're not playing him. And now you're going to tell me that the coaching or being fired by Kaiser Chiefs and coaching Kaiser Chiefs what tainted your name. No. You set yourself up, mate. You set yourself up. You came to Kaiser Chiefs. You failed to even make the team qualified for the top eight. That is what tainted your name. Your actions. Not the state of the club. We all knew the state of the club. You knew the state of the club. Yet you took that job and now you are going to blaming on, on coaching chiefs. We saw a lot of coaches this week getting a book FP license. Go update yourself on what is happening on modern football. Because what we saw from Kevin Johnson was just guesswork all the time. And now it's Chiefs. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not having none of that. However, there is something that is making me calmer. Well, not calmer. I'm calming myself down because every time I think about Johnson and his excuses, I just get mad. I don't like people who don't like taking accountability for their own actions. It's my fault that I'm shooting when it's dark. I'm not going to say, oh, it's the sun, it's winter. No. Take accountability, man, and just move on. Anyways, Katla Hompela thinks that Kaiser Chiefs should sign Gaston Serenio. And there are talks that Gaston Serenio is or wants to go back home, go back where he comes from in, in Uruguay. <laughs> and there are a lot of Kaiser Chiefs fans who are saying, uh uh, Chiefs should actually get to Gaston Serenio. And if you think about it, each of stars have a lot of young players and Lucas Dinsirino would add some experience to the club. But then again, you know the bigger issue with these players who come from Mamelodi Sundowns and look at his age. I'm not saying his age in terms of, oh, he's old, so we're not going to get anything from him. But look at his age and where he is and how much money he would want and look at who he's coming to play for which is Kaiser Chiefs. And I don't think that he would come to Kaiser Chiefs and accept to get paid 200000 He would be one of the highest earners, which I think is something that we've been trying to avoid. We do not want to get people who are coming to Chiefs to get a lot of money. However, what do you guys think before I talk about this other thing that I almost forgot to talk about at the beginning of the video? What do you think? Do you think that Kaiser Chiefs should take a risk? and convince Ucaston Sereno to come and play for Kaiser Chiefs? Or do you think he's too old? Or do you think we're just tired of Sundown's rejects? I don't know what you think about Sereno, but do let me know down in the comment section below about him. And today, people are freaking out about Bongan Zungu. I'm only bringing this up because I know someone will ask this question. But in his story on Instagram that he posted, he posted that he's in Turkey. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Not Turkey, Turkey, maybe. Yeah, anyways, he's in Turkey or Turkey, and he, he also tagged the, 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 the dentist or eye clean, uh, not eye, teeth cleaning, what, what, Dr. Yakon, and he's going there to clean his teeth because we've seen pictures of him before cleaning his teeth in Turkey. So I don't think he's there because Chiefs are in Turkey, Istanbul to play other games, and he's joining the team up because when Latuma, was it Latuma kickoff? When they reported that Uzung is going to Chiefs, USD, U Sporting Director, U Kezam Town Jr. quickly responded and said, that is not true. So Bongan Zungu is not coming to Kaiser Chiefs. If somehow this video comes out and he, he's been spotted with Chiefs, then that means U Sporting Director is a liar. Anyways, do let me know also what you think about the possibility of Uzungu coming to Chiefs. I don't think it's happening. Check out this video <laughs> where I analyze that game you apply Mata Galne Orlando Pirates and become a member. It's free. It's 20 no, it's 20 rands to become a member. But it's free to check out this video and this video that YouTube thinks you might like. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, remember, Ecos.
الفلومون